Thank you very much, Mr. National Secretary, distinguished delegates, Your Excellencies, Your Excellency, the National Chairman, I have been directed that the program as is present has been amended because of the importance attached to the constitutional amendment the national convention planning committee has amended the program to bring forward the issue of the motion for amendment of our constitution so please let the record reflect that we are now going forward to do the constitutional amendment after that we will continue the goodwill messages starting with the chairman of the BOT. But for now, we are going to take the motion for the amendment of our constitution. And I have been directed by the chairman of the National Convention Planning Committee to invite a party leader, a former member of the House of Representatives, a former attorney general, a governor par excellence, the only countryman governor in Nigeria, and the man who has been appointed the chairman of post-convention reconciliation committee, His Excellency Governor Siriake Dixon, to come forward to move the motion for amendment of our constitution. Thank you very much indeed. Pay the pay. Power to the people. Thank you. Your Excellency, the Chairman of the Caretaker Committee and the members of that respected committee. Your Excellency, the former President from the great state of Bayelsa. Your Excellency, former Vice President Atiku Abubakar, GCON now back to his home. Your Excellency, former Vice President Namadi Sambo, GCON. Your Excellency, the Deputy Senate President, the minority leaders of both chambers. Your Excellencies, my dear colleagues, the state governors, and especially my brother, a friend and colleague, the Chairman of the Convention Planning Committee, Your Excellency Fanny Okowa, Governor of Delta State. Let me also recognize the Deputy Chairman, my brother and namesake also, the Deputy Chairman and Governor of Taraba State, former Governors. Let me recognize our BOT members and the Chairman, our dear distinguished fellow delegates to this convention, members of the press, very distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I am the Honorable Henry Seraki Dixon, Governor of the great state of Bayelsa, and a delegate to this convention. I rise to move a motion that the constitution of our great party be further amended in the following particulars. Recitals. Whereas the constitution of the People's Democratic Party was amended at the national conventions held on the 24th of March 2012 and between the 9th and 10th of December 2014 respectively, Whereas the High Court of the Federal Capital Territory, in the case of Chief Joseph Jero versus the PDP, nullified sections 47, 6 of our Constitution. Whereas successive Constitution Review Committees of our party, including the Constitution and Manifesto Review Panel, led by the very eminent Professor Jerry Ghana, led strategy review and inter-party affairs committee and other committees in that regard have continuously identified shortcomings in our constitution 
and I have made recommended amendments. Whereas the neck of our party received the aforesaid proposals for amendments, debated and streamlined them, especially on the 24th of October 2017, and forwarded same to all state chapters as required by our constitution. And whereas the said returns have since been received, whereas the neck of our party at its 77th meeting held on the 30th of November 2017, in exercise of its powers, considered, debated, approved the aforesaid constitutional amendment proposals. Whereas section 66, 1, 2, and 3 of our constitution has been complied with in terms of the procedure for a constitutional amendment. Now, therefore, I move in the following terms. One, that the preamble to the Constitution be amended to reflect contemporary realities and issues of concern to our party, as detailed in item A of Appendix A, herein and next to this motion. Two, that Section 8 of the Constitution be amended to ease the procedure for rejoining our party by members who, for one reason or the other, left at some point and who are desirous of returning. These are displayed and marked as item B in Appendix A, herein and next. Number three, that Section 50 of the Constitution be amended to relax the minimum time requirement before members can seek elective or appointive offices under the platform of the party as set out in item C of Appendix A to this motion. That Section 29.1, subsection 5 of the Constitution be also amended to make the national vice chairman of our party, the six of them, members of the National Working Committee as set out in item D of Appendix A herein annexed. Five, that sections 29, 30, 31, 35, 45, and all other related provisions of our Constitution be amended for the party to have two deputy national chairmen as set out in item E of Appendix A to this motion. Six, that section 29.1B of the Constitution of our party be amended so that at least one of the two deputy national chairmen here and after referred to shall be a woman. Seven, that section 35.1 of the Constitution be amended to limit the powers of the national chairman to only preside over the national convention as detailed out in item G of Appendix A to this motion. Eight, that section 47.6 of the Constitution nullified earlier by the judgment of the High Court of the Federal Capital Territory be hereby reinstated as with amendments as stated in item H of Appendix A to this motion. Nine, that section 41, subsection 1 of our Constitution be amended also to strengthen the powers of the National Auditor to be able to render timely and accurate audit reports of our party as set out in Appendix A to this motion. That Section 31, Subsection 1, Paragraph D of the Constitution be also amended so that the Chairman and Secretary of the Board of Trustees, as well as statutory members of the BOT, 
shall have voting rights at the neck of the party as set out in item J of Appendix A to this motion. That section 32 of the Constitution dealing with composition, election, tenure of officers and members, and qualification of membership of the Board of Trustees of our party be amended as set out in item K, hearing and next and marked Appendix A to this motion. Twelve, that sections 33 1, 25 1, subsection 5, and 18, subsection 1 of the Constitution be amended to broaden the base for Congresses and National Convention as set out in item L of Appendix A to this motion. 13, that sections 31, subsection 1, 30, subsection 1, 27, subsection 1, 5, 6, 7, and 24, subsection 1, 22, subsection 1, 19, subsection 1, 20, subsection 1, 16, subsection 1, 17, subsection 1, and section 14, subsection 1 of our Constitution. They also amended to expand caucuses and the executive committees of our party are set out in item M. Herein marks as appendix A to this motion. 14. That accredited delegates to this national convention shall cast their votes on each of these items of amendment by marking either yes or no in the columns in the sheets that are before you. I will be with you shortly. Fifteen, that the amendment in paragraph five above relating to item E of appendix A shall take effect today, 9th December 2017, while all other amendments shall take effect on the 1st of January 2018. I so move. Thank you.